Hey Aries and welcome to my channel Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo and I'm here to bring you guys your channeled messages for April 2018. So I will just go ahead and get started. Um, I just, uh, disclaimer, this is for entertainment purposes only. It will not resonate with everybody. So take what you want and leave what you don't. Spirit is saying it is time to take balance back into your life, Aries. You have so many things right now that are up in the air. For a group of you, you are trying to make choices in a work environment between two different jobs, you're trying to decide whether you are moving across the country, if you're moving departments. For another group of you, you are trying to balance out your love life. Should you stay? Should you go? It's like you're fearing, you have an overwhelming fear of of deception, of secrets being had behind your back to somebody oops, somebody cheating on you or um, yeah, you just have this <clears throat> overwhelming fear of being deceived, that you are deceiving yourself. You are self-sabotaging your happiness. You're in your head a lot right now, Aries. A lot. You're trying to, from what I can tell, you're trying to make sure you can get all the information about this um, this situation you're in and it's like you're trying to gather all this information and you're trying to prove this that and the other that you're spending so much time in your head spirit saying it's okay to be in your head about decisions once in a while you know take a step back really think about it really you know over analyze over analyze reanalyze and then make your choice and then second guess your choice and then it starts all over again He's saying that you're spending so much time doing that with everyday things, with every interaction that you make, that you he said if you spend so much time in your head, you forget to oh, if you live in your head, you are not living in the moment. You're missing everything going by, you are, life's passing you by while you're too busy looking to the past. You're not making the future you want. You're not manifesting the life you want because you're too busy looking at yesterday, last week, last month, last year. And you're trying to evaluate and analyze what went wrong. If I would have done this, different what did this happen and we're saying the past is in the past for a reason you can't change the past the only thing you have control of is this moment right here right now and that's your best bet to control your future so quit looking back there it was left back there for a reason for another group of you It looks like you guys are going back and forth between an ex, um, somebody from your past, back and forth, back and forth. There is love there. There is caring there, but there is hurt, deceit, sadness, betrayal. No matter how good it is 
with this person now, it's not going to erase your guys' past, your history. And you're never going to be okay with it. It's never going to be as good as it once was. So Spirit is saying to be sure of what you do want and what you don't want. You don't want hurt. You're very clear about that. The Spirit is saying it's time to let go of this past energy, this past relationship. Release it. And you have a new relationship coming in that is way better for you. The one you're holding on to is married for this group of you. They are not leaving their spouse anytime soon. So Spirit is saying to move forward. Move forward. Go get the love life of your dreams. Go get the love life that you want. Go get it. Make it. Manifest it. You have to... You have to let the universe know exactly what it is that you want so that you can bring it into you because it's okay to love. It's okay to open your heart because you're, you're scared and you're closed off. I can't, I'm not quite sure what spirit is showing me there, but, um, it's time for change. Don't hold back. Right now you're being held back by fear or your stubbornness, your ego. But transformations are here and it's time to take a step forward. It's time to take your respect back. It's time to take the love for yourself back. It's time to end this third party situation that a group of you are in. Because you don't love and respect yourself if you know that you are the side bitch. Sorry, but. And I, I get it. Because you're scared that you're not going to find another love like this. There's a connection that is so intense between you. That you know that there's nobody better out there. Nobody that will make you feel this way. But Spirit's so saying they have to learn their karmic lessons first. And you guys aren't going to be coming together anytime. Okay, for a group of you, you guys will be coming back together very shortly. But you have to heal separate. So if you are still in contact with your soulmate, Twin Flame, you're not getting together anytime soon. You have to separate to heal. So put the third parties to a rest. And start doing some self-work. Self-healing. Self-respect. Self-love. It's not saying you have to go be with somebody else, but heal from the hurts of this relationship and go back out there. What's wrong with dating somebody while you're waiting? There's nothing wrong with that. And actually, the more like you're out there and you're happy and like flirty, I'm not saying sleep with everybody in the place, but like when you have a lighthearted energy, you become more attractive. And that's only going to make you happier because, you know, everybody likes attention as long as it's good attention. But it's going to make the person that you're trying to manifest back into your life, it's going to make them want you that much more than you sitting in your room four months straight crying, watching Netflix. Guilty. Once you get back out there, you feel so much better. There's a group of you that you ended an old relationship after finding out the truth. And you finally faced the truth. You knew this was going on. But you turned a blind eye. 
because you didn't want the headache or the, not the headache, you didn't want the, you didn't want the argument in court. You didn't want to leave this person because it was easier to stay. You're leaving. I can't tell which one, Aries, either you or they are sneaking around still. But it's you that I see finding the courage to walk away. You closed your eyes to your reality for so long that you knew it was time to go a long time ago, but you stayed anyways because it was easy. You stayed anyways because your ego got in the way. You stayed anyways because you were worried about finances. You stayed anyways because, I mean, the, the list goes on and on. Once you walk out that door, once you take your life back, your pride back, your self-respect back, abundance is going to find you. Stability is going to find you. Love is going to find you. And no matter how many times I say that, there's still going to be a group of people, because I see it, that they're stuck. They're still stuck. Taking no action. Same story as last month and the month before. There is a group of you, though, that's doing what they have to do to reconcile with their ex. There's another group that walks, gets up, walks out the door, and don't look back. They move on and find somebody else. And then there's a group of you that are stuck. You're stuck and paralyzed by fear. You're stuck and paralyzed by being content with okay. You deserve better. You deserve more. For the both of you, obviously you guys are not, you guys are not meant to be life partners or you wouldn't be going through this hurt. This is a lesson. The universe is giving you a test. If you pass the, if you pass, you move on. Your karma is cleared. If you don't, guess what? You start going in that cycle over and over again until you learn your damn lesson. You, you keep asking somebody the same questions over and over and over again because you want to get to the bottom of something. They're the same questions. They're giving you the same answer, answers. And for a group of you, they didn't tell you the truth yesterday and they ain't going to tell you the truth this time when you ask either. Spirit says you will be shown the truth. You will be given the truth. You will find out the truth. What have you. The truth is coming to you in the form of an older female. I would say early 60s to mid 70s bright green eyes you are in control of this lesson you know that this is not the relationship you're supposed to be in the universe is just going to keep giving you the same lesson over and over and over but it gets harder every time So obviously, if you are in a happy marriage, if you are in a happy relationship, this message isn't for you. And 90% of the ones on here aren't. Because Spirit says... <clears throat> can't quite understand. Oh, oh, okay. 
Okay, so for a group of you, you're living in the dark. There's stuff going on around you that you need to be proactive in finding out. For another group of you, you're living with shadow energy. The person you're connecting with is depressed, has anxiety, highs and lows. Keep an eye on them. Now, this doesn't have to be like a lover. It could be a brother, sister, mom, dad, child. Especially if they're a fire sign child. Around the age of 12 to 14. Really watch their depression. They're drop, they're giving you clues. And like the school, you know, I don't know if they know think it's for attention or if they're not picking it up because they're short staffed or what, but. Yeah, they're they're dealing with depression. They're being picked on at school. Um, this is very important for somebody. Talk to them and make sure you, they know you can tell they can tell you if something's wrong. Get them help. Because they are They're very depressed. For another group of you, you guys are waiting for communication <clears throat> via text message, email, some form of, you have to read it. They're not calling you. You're going to be getting that communication in within the next seven days. That is going to give you the courage to walk away. Walk away from this failed relationship. Walk away from this crumbling foundation. Walk away and let it go. You were closing your eyes to your reality so long that you no longer knew what your truth was. It's time for you to stand in your truth, live in your truth, talk your truth, embrace your truth, be your truth. Because you were telling yourself it wasn't this, it wasn't that, it wasn't this, it has to be this, to make excuses for them. To make excuses for the way they treated you, the way they used you, the way they lied to you. The way they made a fool of you when they were out messing around. That you closed your eyes to your own reality. You knew it was time to go a long time ago. You have been dragging it out. Don't go back. They're going to come back for you. Don't go back. It was left there for a reason. Set your ego aside. That song comes to my head. I don't know who sings it. So something about walking that coolest walk that you know. Just that's what's playing in my head. Like keep walking. Because they are going to throw anything and everything at you to try to get you to take them back. 
don't do it. You have somebody new coming in. For another group of you, you're overindulging. You're overindulging in alcohol and uh, like drugs, prescription drugs. You know, you're just, you're overindulging. Spirit says it's time to detox. Detox your mind, body, and soul. It is time for a uh, overhaul, Aries. You guys are going to be releasing your old habits with this full moon. You're going to be releasing your fears of moving in the future alone, vulnerable, broken. But that isn't how you're going to come out of it. You're going to be stronger, wiser. And you're not going to be alone. Not much longer. So release those hurt feelings, those wounds, your scars, your fears, your habits, anything that no longer serves you. Release it. And as you release it, every deep breath you take in, that's your truth. Those are your affirmations. Those are your truths. Walk in them. Talk in them. Be them. Because if you don't believe it, nobody else is going to. You guys are finally getting the courage this month. Transformations are here. And you guys are going to face them head on, which is huge because you guys have been living in fear of change for a long time, month after month after month. For another group of you, you guys, I see um, somebody moving like across the country. Um, from like Northern California, you are moving over to the Carolinas. Um, you are very anxious about this. You have a husband and three children, um, two girls and a boy. This is for somebody specific. Um, you are worried about moving and relocating. Spirit is saying, do not be scared, go. This is an opportunity of a lifetime and your children will readjust and do better than ever. Um, for another group of you, I also see you guys moving. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of business this is, but it's like a it's like a a warehouse. Like a lot of people work in there, and unfortunately, I see it closing down in July, and that's going to relocate a lot of people because it's like this building is all this town has for employment. So, a lot of you are going to be moving to our southern states in July. Spirit saying, don't worry. The universe has it all figured out. You you will be fine. My hair is standing on him, sorry. Um, yeah, it's some kind of like packing house, I think. Like they're packaging meat. I don't know. I've never been in one, inside one, but I'm assuming that's what it looks like. I think. Yeah, it's some kind of factory, some kind of like warehouse or a packing house or something along those lines. But they are moving their company to like, I think like Mexico, like a, below the border. But this is going to be a lot of your guys' opportunity to um, get education paid for, um, to relocate to where somewhere that you want to be. It's going to, it's going to turn out to be a blessing for way more of you than what it is not a blessing. 
for a group of you, you guys are just emotionally drained. You guys are financially drained. And you're standing there waiting for your ships to come in and you can't figure out where they're at. It's because you're in that vicious cycle. If it ain't working where you're at, then try something different. But you can't try something different where you're at because it's not different. So start walking. Because your emotions are just getting to be too much for you. Um, you're losing sleep. You're dropping weight. You're not hungry. It's time to go a little further down shore and your, your ships will come in. You will have stability, abundance, and love financials for a group of you you are coming into a relationship with a soulmate a good soulmate some of them are life partners But the intense passion that you guys share is absolutely amazing. But you first have to improve the situation that you're in, whether that be walk away or, you know, give it one more try, whatever it is, you have this person coming in. You guys have met them. They are in your life. Doesn't necessarily mean you slept with them or dated them, but you do know them. So just let things unfold. It's just time to heal. It's time to walk away. I know I've said this like three months in a row and we're still here. So, but you guys are going to have the aid of somebody coming in to show you something that's going to cause you to walk away. And it's that older female, bright green eyes. She's going to help you see the truth. And it's going to be enough to get you to walk away all on your own. It's going to give you the courage to face your reality. So Aries, I hope you guys have a beautiful birthday month. Overall, you guys have an amazing month coming up. You guys are getting balanced. You guys are making choices. You guys are facing fears. You guys are taking deception and secrets head on. You are walking away. You are dealing with, you know, people in your space with depression and anxiety. And you're getting that taken care of. Really overall, Aries, it is a beautiful month. And by the end of the month, you will have your truth. You will find your truth. So you can stop covering your eyes up. You're walking through life blind because you're scared to see the truth in front of you. So spirit is here. To put it so far in your face that you can't ignore it. And even though it'll be a tower moment, it'll be one of the most beautiful blessings that you'll ever encounter after you're done picking up the pieces, after you clear all the rubble away and start that foundation, you will be thankful this happened. Yeah, April is going to be a good month for you guys. So keep healing, stay beautiful, stay strong, and um, Get ready to walk that coolest walk you know. So I hope you guys have a beautiful April. And as always, I'm sending you love, light, and God bless.